Hey everyone, the Mad Spectre here. Now, as you may have heard, minute of your life here recently, uh, there is a presidential election that is just now wrapping up. As you also may have heard, Trump supporters have taken to the streets to impose mob justice on Biden supporters after the news broke that Biden's camp had to cancel two separate events because their tour bus was detained by Trump supporters in big old pick em up trucks with, I'm sure, various types of flags hanging out of the back. I wonder what all these people were wearing, because, uh, what is the equivalent of a Klan robe if you're against Democrats and every sane person out there? Um, now understand, I am in Maryland, so the chance that Donald is gonna take Maryland? Very slim. We haven't had a Republican presidential winner in Maryland for 20, 24 years, something like that, I am still going to vote against Trump because besides everything else, um, that St. John's Church incident is just one of the most pathetic and un-American things I've heard about any recent president. Um, so I'm just really not happy with that one. I actually met Joe Biden once. Believe it or not, I attended a private parochial high school in Wilmington, Delaware, and um, at the time, this likely would have been 95 or 94, maybe 96, Joe Biden was the senator of Delaware, and he came to my high school to give a speech. It was a pretty big thing. There was a lot of buzz about it. We knew a senator was coming. So the day of his meeting comes, and they're filing just everyone into the auditorium, and at this point, you weren't supposed to break from the lines and go anywhere else, but um, I was in pretty good with a priest. No jokes. But really, I was in good with a priest, and I just basically told him, I was like, hey, I need to use the bathroom really quickly. I'll be right back. Um, you know, I'm just going to dip into this bathroom. And he was like, fine, go ahead, even though I wasn't supposed to, technically. Um, but uh, he was fine with it. So I went in the bathroom, just getting ready to start doing my thing, and the door opens. Lo and behold, here's Joe Biden coming to use the bathroom before his big speech. The same little bathroom that I had dipped into. Now, this bathroom had two urinals in it, and they weren't the little squatty urinals that hang from the wall. They're like the big boy sit-on-the-floor urinals, the ones that start at about your nipples and end at the floor. Uh, two of those, so I took the left-hand one, and he made his way to the right-hand one. We had a little bit of chit-chat. I said, hi, you know, I knew who he was. Um, you know, I wished him luck on the speech. He thanked me, you know, it was just a little bathroom chit chat. Nothing weird. <laughs> nothing weird. Um, but while I'm using the bathroom and I really had to use the bathroom, my backpack starts to slip. Now I have an incredibly heavy backpack. I had it chock full of textbooks and trapper keepers and more pens and pencils than you'd ever want to know. I had a keychain that was like this big in the side pocket of, you know, of this Jan Sport probably. Um, the backpack was like a bowling. It was like a, <laughs> it was like a cannonball. <laughs> it's just, it was packed to the brim and I had slung it over my right shoulder. Okay. Solely my right shoulder. I tend to do that a lot. It's one of those things. I wouldn't hook it around my left, just my right. So there I am, using the bathroom next to Joe Biden, who's at the urinal to my right, and the backpack starts to slip off of my shoulder. Just ever so subtly starts to slip. Now basically at this point, <laughs> with the backpack slipping, I realize that if I do nothing, the backpack is going to slip far enough off of the side of my back to slide sideways pretty violently with the weight of it and just smash Joe Biden into this urinal next to me. It might have wrecked him. It might have wrecked the urinal and wrecked him and broke his bones and smashed his teeth. Lord knows what might have happened. My backpack was so heavy. And if it slipped that way, it just would have... We were like shoulder to shoulder. It was a really, really small bathroom. <laughs> so if the backpack had hit him, would have would have crumbled him, I'm sure. Even back then, 20 years ago. <laughs> even back then. The other alternative would be to swing around to stop it from hitting him. But I was full flow at that point, you know, and it is one of those things. Guys will tell you that 
if you have to use the bathroom bad enough and you are in the middle of your stream, there really isn't any stopping it. It's you could try, but what you're gonna do is just turn it into like a fountain. <laughs> it's just gonna it's just gonna go everywhere. It's gonna look like you're a cat marking your territory. So <laughs> so the alternative to not knocking Joe into the urinal was to try to pivot around to catch the backpack, but I would have just hosed him. <laughs> it just yeah, I would have hosed him right before his speech at my high school. Fortunately, like I said, didn't come down to it, didn't completely slip off my back, just was very, very close to it by the time I finished up. And I did, even once I was done, kind of jerk around quickly and catch the backpack, and I think he wasn't expecting that. So, so Mr. Biden, if you remember, I'm sure you remember the speech coming to my high school, I'm sure of it. He probably made the rounds. But if you remember the kid from the bathroom right before your speech, uh, that was me. Now, fortunately, I sent in for the mail-in ballot, and I have it in hand, all filled out and ready to go. And Maryland is utilizing drop-off boxes, available 24-7 up until 8 o'clock of the election day. Um, you can take it there and just drop off your, your ballot, and you're good to go. So because of that, I can actually make a midnight run to minimize my chances of running into these Trump zealots. Uh, although there is the chance that they're going to wait until the night to pounce like a bunch of common thugs, um, I kind of want to take my chances. I might be screwing myself, but hopefully there won't be anybody around if I make a midnight run. Now, considering all this, I would absolutely love to bring my good old trusty M&P with me, but unfortunately, as I mentioned before, I am a Maryland resident. Um, the gun laws here are total shit. Um, so because of that, in the end, I'll likely just have the Kershaw on me. You know, to get the job done, in case the worst. <laughs> Hopefully. But, um, in Maryland, I can't even keep a gun in my trunk. Even if I keep the clip in a lockbox and the gun separate in another lockbox in my trunk. Um, Maryland has laws against any transportation of a, of a gun with the, the very few exceptions of buying it, selling it, um, target shooting, or transporting between your own properties. So, <laughs> uh, that is, any transportation besides that is completely illegal. So, a gun would naturally afford me better protection. Um, if these Trump supporters are going to try to lynch me or crucify me or whatever they're going to do. Um, but if something does happen and I even indicate that I have a gun, I could be arrested just for having it. Just, just for not even brandishing it, just for having it in my trunk. I could technically be arrested in Maryland. That's, uh, you know, that's where we're at. Um, because of that, I thought about bringing this. <laughs> If you'll notice, this is my M&P with a nice weapon light on it. This is a replica airsoft gun. Now just imagine that without the weapon light. And naturally, you know, it, it is a little bit plasticky looking. But if you look at the two of these weapons, they are... It's ridiculous. Yeah, you've got the smaller barrel for the airsoft. But <laughs> the attention to detail, it's got... Look at that. The Airsoft even has a fake a fake serial number on there. Really hard for the camera to pick it up, but look at that. There's a fake serial number in the right place. I mean, you know, this is obviously real. But, uh, look at this. It even has this little teeny clip. It's so cute. This thing's ridiculous, though. I mean... Um, and yeah, it's, uh, this is stupid convincing as a real weapon. It never had an orange plug, nothing like that. And you can't, obviously, you can't. There's no, like, fake even racking the slide, but, you know, I remember there was at least one kid that was shot for playing laser tag back when I was younger. And that was a laser tag gun that, that looked like a ray gun, you know, like a gun from V or something. This looks like a pistol, man. 
uh, these days, having this in, in the wrong place and having someone think this is a weapon, that would get you killed, which is what, exactly why I'm not going to bring it with me. Um, I'll probably get shot <laughs> um, because somebody calls my bluff, basically. Um, so that's out, but I guess the Kershaw hopefully will be enough. I better get ready to go. It's, um, let me see. Yeah, it's about 11.30 right now, and my destination is 10 or so minutes away. Um, so that that's just about right. Um, yeah, let's get this ballot in and get this over with. Uh, wish me luck, everyone. Hopefully the Proud Boys aren't going to be waiting at the drop box for me. Right, proud, proud Boys, boys stand back and stand by. It's like some lost highway shit here. Yep, no trucks so far. I think we're gonna be okay. Hey everyone, it's about five of midnight. I'm approaching the um, voting location now. So far, so good. Haven't seen any big trucks. Haven't seen any Confederate flags. So far, we're looking good. I did it everyone, I voted. Voted in 2020. This is gonna be amazing. Everything is gonna be different. Just like every other major election we've had. Every time. 